This is the third in a series of videos on counting. And in this video, what we have is we have a series of sample problems from the first two videos. And here are the problems that I'd like you to do. At this point, I would like you to pause the video, work out these three problems, and after the pause, check your answers. So now hit the pause button and work out these problems. If you worked with these answers, now let's go ahead and check our answers and see if we got them right. If you haven't solved them yet, uh, then go ahead and pause the video again and work out the problems yourself. If you have paused them, then let's check the answers. In the first problem, the answer was 12. In the second one, it was 30. In the third problem, the answer was 9 factorial or 362,880. Either one of these would have been acceptable answers. In the fourth one, there are three different possibilities, and one was about 7.9 million. The other one nearly 12 million, the other one nearly 60 million. Um, if you got these answers right, then go ahead and skip now to video um, on counting part four. If you got any of these problems wrong, then let's go ahead and work out each one of these problems. In the first problem, you have a, a store which offers four different types of bicycles and three different types of wheel sizes and how many are offered. This is exactly the menu problem. And you simply go 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. And that's your answer. And the key here is to recognize that this problem is exactly the same as the menu problem. In the second one, when you're buying a car, that's also the same. And the key here is, is there's two different types of transmissions. And there are five different colors. Right, so this is transmission, this is color choices, and the key is for every transmission you have five different colors to choose from. And then once you've chosen the transmission and the color, then you have um, three different styles. And you just simply multiply those two together, so you go 2 times 5 times 3, which is 30. The third problem is how can you rearrange these letters, math rules. Now there is a harder problem where some of the letters look the same, but in this one they don't. So here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different letters, and to rearrange them, well the key is to rearrange them you have nine different spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you have nine different letters that can go in the first space. However, once you choose a letter to go in this first space, you only have 8 to go in the next space, and then 7 in the next one, and then 6, and then 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So your answer is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, And um, which another way to say that is just 9 factorial. And you just can plug that in your calculator. If you need to know how to plug that in your calculator, then here's a different kind of calculator here. You just type in 9. In this case, there's a button called P or B. You hit that. And if you notice, there's a menu there, and you go over to where the exclamation mark is and hit it. And then you just hit Enter, and you get the answer, which is 300, about 363,000. In the fourth problem, we had a series of questions to answer. The first one, how many different passwords could there be if the password's made of five lowercase letters? Well, there's 26 lowercase letters, and the key is they can't be repeated. So if you think about a, a password, if there's five spaces, one, two, three, four, five, there's 26 different letters you can use for the first letter, and then there's 25 for the next one and then 24 for the next one. Let's think of that. Once you chose two letters, so the fact that you can't repeat means that there's two fewer to choose from for the third different letter. And then 23 times 22, and you just plug that in your calculator. And the key here is that it cannot be repeated. The next you're asked to ask how would your answer change if the letters could be repeated. Well, still you would have a string of five letters one, two, three, four, five. But with the string of five letters, you'd have 26 possibilities for each letter. So it'd be 26 times 26 times 26 times 26 times 26. You could plug that directly in your calculator, or you could go 26 raised to the fifth. 
and this the, how this is probably the easiest way to do this on the calculator go 26 and use the caret bar 5 and that's 26 raised to the fifth power and you get about 12 million in the last example you'd say how would your letter answer change if letters or digits well the key here is is there's 26 letters and there's 10 digits so there's 36 total possibilities for each space, one, two, three, four, five. And they can be repeated. So there's 36 possible in the first time, then there's 36 for the second, 36 for the third, 36 to the fourth, 36 to the fifth. So you just simply go 36 times 36 times 36, a total of five times, or if you want to, you can go 36 raised to the fifth. Again, one way to do that is simply to go 36 times 36 times 36 times 36 times 36. You get about 60 million. Another way to do that would be simply 36 raised to the power of 5. You get the same answer there. So hopefully those, th those answers make sense, and now we'll go on to the next video.